And when he was good and was a pro bowler, yeah. he was a jerk. And, and I cite the one story that I'd say again. He joined a country club, a brand new country club here, story you haven't heard. Cost $100,000 to join the club. Uh, he went out with his shirt tail out, <laughs> hello, and his <laughs> cap backward. He brought it's seven people to play golf when you go and bring three. Uh, he was he treated the marshals who came around and said, you know, you, you have to adhere to the rules. He said, go away. Uh, they put up with it for a while. Finally, when he brought a bunch of people, uh, a lot of drinking on the course and doing stuff and driving carts in the wrong place, when he got off the course, they handed him a check for $100,000. He said, go away. He had no regard uh, or respect for anybody. I'll give you a quick story. Um, a revered, long-time NFL play-by-play -play man for television, network guy, came into town. The night before the game, they do their production meetings. They bring in some of the star players to sit and talk with them and get, gather information. Cutler came in in a hoodie, sat down at the desk across from that revered broadcaster, put his head down on the desk with the hoodie over his head. That broadcaster asked him a couple of questions. He grunted his answers, and the broadcaster said, that's it, I don't need you here anymore. And Cutler left. And, and, uh, we, I, I had a number of talks with Mike Shanahan about Jay Cutler, and I told him, you've got a problem with this kid. You've got to teach him how to behave off the field. And they tried, and it didn't work because this guy was enabled by primarily his family. Plus, he was just a turd. Just a turd. Yeah, I, yeah. I talked to his high school counselor trying to find out when this change came. And he said he was like that in high school. Yeah. So that, he's grown up a little bit. Like he's matured a little bit. He's got a, a wife bit. and a kid, but it, no, but he really hasn't. A little bit, I said. He, he's cut I'm his give hair. Him a little credit. He, he's cut his hair. He appears in a suit after the games, but there's still the body Jay language Cutler is still bad. The teammates don't like him. You heard what Brian Urlacher said about him. Brian Urlacher, the leader in that yeah, Bears right. locker room, took shots at him all the time. So what Champ yeah. is saying. We've known, I think the public has known for a long, long time. He is what he is. All right. Yeah. That's it for me, guys. Thanks, you. Hey, Hugh Johnson. Good stuff. Thanks. Digital sports producer at the Denver Post. Go to denverpost.com and see what's trending now. And that was brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. That's why, that's where we buy our cars. I've been buying my cars there for about a decade and a half now. It's the top volume Lexus dealer around. They're located at I-25 in Bellevue, a beautiful new facility. So uh, go to CooneyLexusofGreenwoodVillage.com. Here's a little bit more.